Hello everyone, hope you're all well and enjoying your school day. Well, um, we're back here at Wind Marley, St Luke's Wind Marley, and today we're keeping a special service, a special time in the church's year, what we call the presentation of Christ in the temple, or sometimes we call it candle mass. It's the time we remember Mary and Joseph taking Jesus up to Jerusalem to have a special service in the temple because Jesus was the firstborn male child and in their tradition when the firstborn male child came they had to give special thanks to that child and dedicate it to God and it's a long time ago with very different practices very different things that they did and one of the things they did was they offered animals as a gift as a sacrifice uh, in thanksgiving now the law was the rule was that you give a lamb but there was extra, there were some other rules though, if you were poor and couldn't afford a lamb, you could give a pigeon or a turtle dove. And Mary and Joseph gave a pigeon and a turtle dove. So that tells us something. It tells us that they weren't very rich, that they were in fact a poor, poor people, very poor and ordinary people in the eyes of lots of others. They weren't very ordinary that day though. A man called Simeon, who, who worshipped at the, at the temple, he spent all his life looking forward to the special person who God would send, saw them. And as he saw them, he saw they had a baby with them. And suddenly, somehow, he knew that this baby was the promised one from God. And his heart was full of excitement and happiness. He was an old man. He said, now uh, my life is, is full and completed. I've waited and I've seen the person that God has sent. Didn't bother him that Mary and Joseph were poor people. It didn't bother him that they may not have been as smart as others because he could see that God's love isn't about looking smart or being rich. He recognised the wonderfulness of God's love in Jesus. And he let out a great sort of a hymn or great song and shout of praise. And in it, he said that Jesus would be a light to the nations and the glory of Israel. And when he said Jesus would be a light to the nations, that's given us another name for this. We call it candle mass candle a light and Simeon knew that Jesus would bring God's love as a light to all the world which was what Jewish people knew they were called to do to share God's light and love with all the world so Jesus would grow to be a man whose life and love would shine on the world and people would see in his life the light and hope of God's love and that was recognized right from the beginning when he was a, a little baby, only uh, I think uh, a few weeks old. So today's a special day, a day to remember how wonderful it is that God came in Jesus and shines his light upon the world. Amen. Let's say a quick prayer about that. Heavenly Father, we thank you for Candlemas, the presentation of Jesus in the temple. Most of all, we thank you that in him we see the light of your love shining for all time upon your world. Amen. Take care. Have a good week at school. Learn lots. Bye.